Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for new love. Uh, so this is going to be for Sagittarius for January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so th these are the, the uh, Sagittarians that are currently dealing with somebody new. Either you just started dating somebody, uh, started talking to somebody, or just started a new relationship with somebody. Um, you could just apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Um, so we're going to take a look at this new person, this new love, to see what they're uh, uh, currently thinking and feeling towards you. Uh, and then uh, we'll finish off the read uh, to see what their long-term intentions are with you. Okay, like I said, apply this to your own, own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. It could also be a situation for those of you guys that are single that um, perhaps this person is going to be coming towards you in the future here. Okay? Like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, take um, um, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified um, when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Sagittarius. Let's get started. Tell me about the new person or new love that Sagittarius is dealing with here. What is this person's, uh, what is this person currently thinking and feeling towards Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 2022? We have the Six of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Could be a possibility that this person might be at a, at a distance from you, okay? Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. So this person has been through a lot. This person might be very guarded, okay? Uh, this person might be, um, you know, a bit aloof when it comes to emotions here because I feel like this person's in their head a lot, okay? We have the Four of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> If it's a long distance thing, we have someone here that's wondering if they should take this opportunity here, okay, to sort of to get to know you. Um, you know, it, 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 it could be you feeling this way. Like I said, you could uh, switch the roles if you want. And then we have the four of pentacles and the three of wands. This is interesting. Okay, um, whoever this person is here um, for you, Sagittarius, I feel like this person does not really have a lot to give at the moment. We have the four of pentacles here. Uh, this person could struggle financially. Perhaps this person doesn't make a lot of money. Um, that could be an issue between you got it, it, between you and this person seeing each other because um, there's a lack. This person basically comes from a place of lack. Okay, um, we have some fours here too. So this person's really focused, perhaps for themselves on their own balance and stability here, okay? I, I, I do feel like this person is looking out in the horizon, looking for um, to better their own life here. We have the Page of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. Um, so I feel like right now, I feel like you guys might be in the friend zone because um, typically with the pages, I view these individuals as individuals that don't really have a lot to give yet. Uh, pages are individuals that are still growing, evolving, um, sort of still on training wheels, sort of still learning about life here. So you could be dealing with someone here who's a bit younger than you. It doesn't have to be. Um, you know, um, they could be the same age as you or older than you. Uh, and um, they just maybe haven't, ha they haven't really grown up yet. Um, I, it seems like they're still learning a lot about life. Yeah. Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Oh, that's bad. Okay. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? So, uh, the only energy I'm seeing here is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You could have those energies in your chart, okay? 
Six of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. This person's unsure if they want this. I do feel like there's some sort of worry surrounding money here. You know, someone here perhaps doesn't make enough money. Uh, yeah, uh, that could be uh, uh, an, an issue. Or that this person just doesn't have a lot to give. You know, oh, oh, oh. Or that they're just not ready to really fully invest in this yet. Queen of Swords. Oh, there's a Queen of Swords here. Whoa. Okay. You know, whoever this person is, I feel like this person hasn't really been been uh been honest with you. If they're going through all this right now, they haven't really told you that yet. We have the Seven of Swords here. I mean, Seven of Swords speaks of lies, deception here. Um Seven of Swords also could speak of a self-preservation energy. Per perhaps this person is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt. Okay, uh, Four of Cups. We have that Queen of Swords again. Feel like, it seem, it seem, seems like you might be dealing with an air sign here. Or someone here who has multiple air placements in their chart. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Sun, Leo Energy. I, I feel like this person is not really good about speaking their emotions here or speaking the truth. Uh, I, I, I do feel like it, it might be a pattern that this person has had for a, a while here and it's coming up again as you're meeting this person. You know, Sagittarius, this could be you too. You know, a lot of times we attract, um, you know, depending on the situation, sometimes we attract, you know, a person who's a direct reflection of who we are. You know, it's a, a, a part of us that's unhealed. Uh, four of Pentacles. Oh, shoot. Wow. Just, wow. Devil. Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here. You might have Capricorn in your chart. We have Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know what's going on here? I feel like we have someone here that's unable to invest in this because I feel like we have... I feel like this queen might be yearning for somebody else here. Perhaps another fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy? This person hasn't really told you the truth yet, Sagittarius. And I feel like this person has gone through... Yeah, you know, I feel like we have someone here that hasn't really gone, um, that hasn't gotten over a past relationship and they haven't been honest with you, okay? It seems as though this person, perhaps, is wanting a new beginning with this person that you're, you're uh, what, what this person is yearning for here. So, like I said, Sagittarius, this could be you, okay? Or, you know, or the person that you're dealing with. Apply this to your own unique situation. All right. What is, that? What is this new person or new love's um, long-term intentions with Sagittarius here? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for uh, January 2022. Yeah, just be careful, Sagittarius, because I feel like this person is not really being honest with you, okay? Yeah, we have someone here that's still holding on to somebody that they're yearning for, and I feel like this Queen of Wands is a past person, all right? Yeah, it just seems like there's disappointment surrounding this or that they really haven't gotten over a prior relationship here. Um... All right, we have the High Priestess here in the Ten of Pentacles. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's keeping a secret. Perhaps, you know, this person secretly wants a relationship with this Queen of Wands here, okay? Uh, Cancer Pisces energy. We have the Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles. So Cancer energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. Uh, and then we have the Seven of Cups here and the Four of Swords. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's fantasizing about somebody else. So this person could be using you as a distraction here, okay, uh, Sag? We have the Eight of... Wow. 
this person is putting in so much effort thinking about the past person, I, I just feel like this person is not even present with you, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. High Priestess. High Priestess. High Priestess. Oh, that's the whole deck. Um, yeah, so Sag, keep in mind, this is just a general reading. You can switch the roles if you want. Like I said, this could be you. This could be the, the other person. This could be someone that you know that's going through this. Um, keep in mind, this is not like a personal reading. So um, I just want you guys to understand that. Like we have the Queen of Wands here. So you see, I feel like this person secretly wants a relationship with somebody else. Um, Ten of Pentacles. You know, the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, you know, so just be careful, Sagittarius, but it, it just seems like this person is using you as a distraction here because it, it, it's kind of clear that this person is yearning for somebody else with this Queen of Wands. I mean, this Queen of Wands is typically an Aries energy to me, but it also could be Leo Sagittarius. Um, like I said, it could be another, it could be dealing with another Sag here, uh, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, could be dealing with any of those energies, uh, Taurus, Le Virgo, could be dealing with any of those energies, okay? Chariot, Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, seems like it's like a third party thing go going on here. Let's say if this person moved forward with you in a relationship, this person will still be thinking about this other person, perhaps even communicating with this other person. Okay. Seven of Cups. Six. Look at that. We have someone here that's fantasizing about a past person here. Uh, four of Swords. Ten of Swords. Yeah. So I feel like we have someone here that can't get over a past person that's wanting an opportunity with this past person. Okay, so just be careful here, Sag. Just be careful. This person hasn't been honest with you. So, um, Sagittarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye, guys.